Uh, hey guys, I know this video is long AF, but I still would very much like if you would watch the video. I think it's a very cool video. Um, and if you like this series, if you like this video, you know, leave it in the comments. Uh, maybe leave a like. And thank you so much and enjoy. I just knocked over my monster can almost. Like, almost. That shit was so close from tipping over and spilling all over my, my freaking keyboard. That was not even, like, scripted. Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series here on the channel and uh, today we're gonna be playing something called Bronze uh, br uh, Bronze Bravery. I was about to say Bronze Bravery. Bronze Tryouts. Well, let me tell you a little story. I have been playing League of Legends for more than a year now, I think. I had the one year anniversary, like, I don't know how long ago. And I am, right now, Silver 3. I know I said before that I was, uh... That uh, this is called bronze tryouts, but I'm silver. Just don't question it. It just sounds better. And I've realized that even though I'm silver, I still don't know what like 70% of these characters like actually do. Or maybe not 70, maybe 40%. I sort of know what these characters do. I know sort of what their abilities are and what sort of position they are and what they are supposed to bring to the team. And maybe, so my theory is, by learning what all of the characters do, I can go against them better. By learning other lanes, I can understand them better and therefore gank them and analyze them better. And three, uh, it's just fun to learn new characters and spice up the game a little bit. So, in the first series, we will be playing a character that I think is known for his uh, difficulty. And of course, his difficulty, so it's also male. Well, is he actually? Ladies and gentlemen, today we're gonna figure out how the fuck Azir works. Uh, he, he can summon soldiers. I don't know what button that's on. So, let's just read his abilities before we even try him out in the game. Okay, Azir's passive, Shurima's legacy. Azir can summon the Disk of the Sun from the ruins of allied or enemy turrets. Okay, that's his passive. I thought there were I thought there was more to his passive, but it looks like that's his only passive, I guess. Now for his Q, Conquering Sands. Azir sends all soldiers towards their location. Sand soldiers deal magic damage to enemies they pass through and apply slow for one second. Okay, I didn't know about the slow. Arise. Azir summons a sand soldier to attack nice. nearby targets nice. for him, replacing nice. his basic attacks. Nice. Against nice. targets with a soldier's nice. range. Their attacks nice. deal magic nice. damage to enemies in a line. Arise also passively grants attack speed to Azir and his sand soldiers. E. Shifting sands. Azir shields himself briefly and dashes to one of his sand soldiers, dealing damage. If he hits an enemy champion, he instantly readies a new sand soldier for deployment and halts his dash. Emperor's Divide. Okay, and that's his ultimate. And how it looks like he doesn't actually have any special like passive okay that's interesting so for this series it will work like this we will play two games without any tutorials no professor no watching tutorials basically with the knowledge that i have of this champ so i will be making my runes alone my build alone uh, i won't be trying to do off meta things like azir jungle or fucking i don't know twitch support or some shit and after those two games we're gonna be looking we're gonna watch a tutorial on youtube or read a tutorial on on the billions of sites and then we are going to play two more rounds after that and see if we have improved any and all. Uh, Azir has played mid lane, right? <laughs> I, I'm not going to Google if he's played mid lane. I'm just going to assume he's played mid lane. So let's go mid lane. Oh, wait, I didn't unlock on Azir. Wait, I didn't unlock on Sissy. <laughs> I was about to go into a game and not even unlock him. There we go. Okay, we've gotten into a game. Are we mid lane? Yes, let's go. We're actually mid lane. Let's fucking go. Okay. I won't show Azir because I'm scared that you're going to dodge. I think for Azir, go oh, Halo Blades maybe? I feel like he's played like Swain where he wants to proc his electrocute though. They turn on this jump. What but Halo Blades might actually be something. Let's play the first game electrocute and then let's try Halo Blades. Uh, sudden impact because he has the dash, right? So eyeball collection and then... Guessing this, and then for I guess he I guess he uses a lot of mana probably. I'd have to ban a champion. So I think I want to stay with mm, mana flow band maybe. Or do we want to go precision? Maybe presence of mind. Let's try presence of mind and um, alacrity. 
Maybe we'll use the sorcery tree next game. Because maybe we use that much mana where the precision presence of mind isn't enough. It's damaging an enemy, right? We have good poke with Azir, right? Uh, let's call it Bur Birdman. Wait, I'm confused. What is this team comp? Is the Seraphine mid? I feel like it's a Seraphine mid. Oh, I feel like it's Seraphine mid, Yumi, Jinx, Bot, Jarvin, Jungle, and him, and Mordecai's are top lane. The only knowledge, by the way, I have of Azir is I've only seen other people play him. Oh, have we finally arrived in the freaking game? Let's go. So I guess we do it. We do have the shop to help us. Uh, I don't like corrupting potion, and we didn't bring like the, the the time warp tonic thing. So I'm just gonna take the Doran's ring. Oh, I was gonna ask what level. What do we level first? But the game only gives us the option to level W first. I guess because none of the other abilities unlock. I guess we'll just level W. I didn't even know Azir could only level W. I'm so scared we will have uh, mana problems. Oh, hello. Wait, nah. Nah, I'm about to get memed on. I'm about to actually get clowned on. I was fucking up my order, bro. I asked for Sprite and they gave me clown juice. <laughs> I guess we just try to farm the... Okay, we do have a big auto attack range. Ah, no, I missed the minion. I'm, we, we, we should try to find a good balance between, like, using soldiers and not using soldiers. Oh, fuck. What do we level second? I didn't think about this. Uh, we level Q. Fuck it. Okay, was that good? I think that was good. I think that actually was something right there. By the way, like I said, I'm a freaking jungle main. I have ba barely any idea how lane works. I'm just kind of just doing my thing. Okay. Oh, Chad, I think I'm just insane on Oz here, bro. I think I'm actually insane on Oz here. Oh, fuck. Okay, wait, can I escape? I can't escape on this. Yeah, I flush. I flush. Yeah, that was alright. That was alright. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Hello, Jarvin. Hey, Jarvin. Okay, she flash ignited. Are they? I wish I could see if they're duo queuing, but poor professor will tell me the build, and I don't want to see the build, so. I'm guessing we just level W, right? I don't think there's a better thing we can level. Oh, that was Urgot. I thought I was actually about to get fucked again. Nice. So, I'm guessing uh, because we get the... By the way, the only reason why I'm leveling W is because we get the attack speed bonus, right? Okay, farming... Is Azir the first mage we've encountered that is good at, like, auto-attack farming because of his soldiers? Because... You that when I dash, I actually get another soldier. So I can summon three soldiers if I don't miss my... If I hit the dash... If Oh, that was maybe... That was way too... Oh, fuck. I forgot to use my ultimate. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? What? Oh, okay. My ult is whack. Okay. Okay, chat. You did not see that. Everybody, you did not see that. Look away. Look away from your screens. I feel like you just keep sealing away all my fucking damage. What? Oh, okay, okay, Ezreal. We still got her. We still got her. Oh, I'm dead. No, no I thought... Oh, there is somebody else, though. Goodbye. I can't eat! I can't eat! I couldn't eat! God damn it. The thing is, I don't know what to do now as a mid laner. Like, it's also the problem that I don't know what to do as a mid laner right now. Am I just supposed to push top lane? Because it seems like Urgot has just taken his place on the mid lane <laughs> as a jungler, which usually I don't even do as a jungler. So, um, yeah, I'm, I can't even help you right there.
So, unfortunately, after this, my mic uh, wasn't recorded by OBS. Thank you very much. And uh, basically, after everything changed after we got this Drake, we sort of started winning. Misfortune was the one carrying the team. I just kept on missing ultimates like crazy. We also got Baron after uh, getting Soul, which also helped us a lot. And as you can see, after getting the Baron, our misfortune was just carrying like crazy. Here I miss another ultimate because I'm a pro. And yeah. So unfortunately for this match, uh, my audio wasn't recorded. Thank you very much, OBS. So, so I was going to tell you a little bit what happened, how the game went, and look at some funny moments. So I was playing as Aurelion Soul here, which is actually very interesting because when do you ever play against an Aurelion? Can I put my ball? We were, we, we were very passionate about always like trying to poke each other and attack each other where it came to this then. Here he gets a lucky level 2, here I ignite him, he ignites me and we both die. Here, my boy Pantheon gets absolutely wrecked by the Echo. Here I kill Aurelian again, and Echo actually leaves me alone because Akshan rotated from bot. This pattern kept repeating itself of me and the Aurelian just kind of fighting each other while trying to farm. To where this also happened. Here I somehow missed the ultimate. Somebody explain to me how that was a miss. I was kind of just confused as where to go again, because like I said, I'm not used to playing the mid lane. So we're just kind of aimlessly walking around. I sometimes forget. Here, I use my ultimate actually again, and I hit two people. Two people, ladies and gentlemen. A thing never heard of before. I hit two people with one ult. Uh, but unfortunately, the game didn't really end well. The Twitch hyperscaled into late game. I was fairly useless. I really didn't do much for the rest of the game. So, yeah, this was just... We FF'd. I'm oh oh these are the oh first strike I didn't think about taking first strike I was most excited to see the runes so we took if I remember we took electrocute right yeah we took electrocute mm, first strike magical footwork biscuit delivery cosmic insight sorcery mana flow band transcendence okay you go Ludens Tempest what did we build I think did we build I don't remember what we built I think we also built the same so yeah, this is, this is, a, okay, this is, yeah, I can see this, this is pretty standard, like a year build. But you still can do if you have Ignite. Okay. Oh yeah, you also took Ignite, which is interesting. Okay, so Masters, cool free elo Azir guide. He takes the same runes as we saw. Conqueror, better for team fights. Ever. So Conqueror is also a rune you can take. And Arcane Comet. Okay, the Revenant Shuffle explained oh, in 60 seconds. This is the Revenant Shuffle in 60 what seconds. The f what the fuck? What? Say, do that, what? Do that again. Hello. This is the Revenant Shuffle in 60 seconds. What? It's a more advanced version of the Sharima Shuffle, which lets you abduct your enemies as you go back out. The good side of this is that you're able to keep damaging enemies after they landed from the yard because they land exactly where the Sand Soldier has also landed. Let me see, I don't get what he does. Okay, so he places... Wait, let me watch this in slow motion. I don't really understand what he's doing. Hello. So he places... He places W. He E's in. And then he Q's back out. This is the reference of... Okay, I want to go into a game and tr I want to go into a game and try that. Was is this it? So I do this and then I Okay, I messed it up. Wait. Let's just log right in. Draft pick mid lane and top lane. I just hope that we get mid. If I get top, then I'll dodge. And we got mid. Let's go. Everybody's probably gonna be like, "Oh no, motherfuckers, playing a zier for the fucking clown." Okay, what does Professor say? Okay, Professor says the exact same runes that I have. 
Except that they change Scorch and Transcendence. Who do I have to play against? Lissandra? It is absolutely gross. Lissandra? Oh, they're like CC heavy. You know what? I'm gonna take Cleanse. <coughs> Boys, we are so freaking ready. We are so freaking ready for this Zier guide. I gotta say, one thing that I like about Azir is that I do like how he looks like. Like, uh, he's not like five polygons, like Zillion. I've seen your death. It was painful. Hey, don't auto attack me, man. Don't be. Bro, he's gonna. Auto I can tell this guy. This guy a giga sweat, bro. This guy a huge sweat ass. Before the minions are here, if you auto attack somebody, you are a bastard. Okay, that was a good trade. That was a really good trade. I definitely won that trade, like no cap. I definitely vibe with that. I vibe with that. Uh, what do I fucking max Q? Okay, I max Q. Don't I want the attack speed though for my W? I want to maybe start thinking about a backport. Ooh, I see that. Boom, there we go. Can you make it out? That flash was maybe not the best. I, can I, can no, I, seriously. Can I, can I put my balls in your jaw? Okay, let's chat. He made it out. He made it out. <laughs> Bro, I got fucking Breaking Bad in the ball lane right now. Yes! Hell yeah! Hey, come on, baby! Come on! Yes! Come on! Come on! You know what? I'm gonna do something that might be a bit stupid, but I'm gonna bow bot lane. I have ult. I have ultimate. I can launch them into tower. Do this. If I do this smart, I can launch them into tower. I have to be quick. Let's go! They call me the Azir Pro! Come on, are you serious? I want to really try and insect somebody here. Okay, I definitely killed the Kha'Zix there. I definitely killed the Kha'Zix. Traitors? Since when do I have Azir? Wait, I have Azir Eternals? Lol, I didn't even know I have Azir Eternals. Okay, cool, I guess. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I didn't even know. They have first strike up? I do. No, I messed up. I messed up on that one. I thought the gin was close enough. Uh, let's sell my Dorn's ring and get this push. Nope, definitely not on my watch. My man, leave! Get out of here, bro! You've just been absolutely donkeyed on! Holy fuck, you've just been absolutely spat on! Give me that money, brother! Absolutely just pee pee poo pooed all over that Jax, though. And y'all can't even lie, because that's exactly what happened. Okay, so everybody, um. Uh, I did two more games after this, and let's just basically say I'm gonna start rounding up my thoughts on Azir and talk about the games. So the last two games, this one was against the Nakali. My team was really just flaming. Like everybody was mad at each other. The Blitzcrank was a huge dickhead. Uh, it wasn't that fun. Uh, still, I did like playing him because... Uh, I started trying to do more like confident and cocky moves, which 
this game didn't really pay off too much, except uh, I saved this Blitzcrank here with my ultimate. Hey, that was good. Uh, I do have to say, I think that this game could have gone way better if my whole team wouldn't have mental boomed. But this second game was so much better. Like I did, I was able to do like a lot more good plays. Like okay, here I did the ultimate a bit too late. I could have altered the Lux here. I also helped the set out. Like I was really moving towards this game. I was getting really confident. Here's my first good Azir play. Look at that! I, and, and I launched him right into my team. I'm really pl proud of this play. I feel like this was very very good. Easy. That was. Uh... A good Azir play. Y'all can't even be mad. So I kept getting these very good ultimates, which weren't really like Revenant shuffles or anything fancy like that. It was just, I don't know, good ults. And Come on, that was good. Here I really outplayed the Zalawi. Get fucked, Zalawi. Boys, I'm hitting some absolutely slick, slick plays. Maybe, maybe, maybe. So, uh, what are my thoughts on Azir? So, I think Azir is one of the most fun mages I've ever played azir has just such a special play side where he keeps out of the action but has to dive in to make use for his ult to like shuffle people into his thing like azir is so mechanically deep that it's so fun to like try and learn him of course like five games isn't enough to like get anywhere towards the like perfection you need for this character right i'm, I'm silver bronze elo man I'm never gonna play Azir to his full level. So, it was really fun trying out somebody like him. Also, um, to see his playstyle, he's more of like, he reminds me of an ADC. He like barely wants to go into the fight. Maybe I'd, I'd compare him to something like, I'd say it's something like maybe Aphelios mixed with Samira. Because Samira has to go in and like he took that part of Samira and the part with Aphelios is that he can be quite far away and still do like a good amount of damage. He's also an AP pick, which is also nice, um, you know. And yeah, I definitely recommend Azir just for fun, like, and of course, if you want to learn him mechanically, of do, do what you want. Um, and also what I learned about the mid lane is that you get ganked way too, like, you either get ganked zero times or you ganked 100 times. It's like no in between. Either the jungler is shit or the jungler is just babysitting. <laughs> also what I really liked with the Zir was how comfortable it was, like last sitting minions. <laughs> So, if you guys enjoyed the video, please leave a like, tell me what you thought about this. Could I make this a video series? I know it's 23 minutes long, so I don't want to drag out this outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you are watched all the way through, I don't know, comment, uh, comment binoculars. Uh, comment, bi comment binoculars. <laughs> if you even know how to spell it, I wouldn't know how to spell it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe.